Have you ever started a season and put on an outfit and thought to yourself, this just looks totally outdated. What happened? I have had some experiences like that here recently with some items that I have had for a while and I absolutely love them. I wore them over and over again and then I put them on this season and they just feel really dated. So I wanted to talk about those things and some other things that I feel like are out of style for this summer. And this is just a fun video, just my opinion. And I will tell you the things that I think are the better option for you to wear. But I hope you enjoy this. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing. So the first style I want to talk about is actually a personal style for me that I wore for many, many years that I loved that I thought I would never stop wearing. But when I've put it on this year, it just felt really dated to me. And it was really big statement earrings. And I do think there are some subtle statement earrings if there is such a thing that is that are on trend right now like your you know longer strands or your thinner large hoops so those are statement earrings but they're very streamlined the statement earrings i'm talking about are gigantic and they stick out like a sore thumb and they're these big teardrops and i promise you i wore these for years and it's all i wore i probably have 30 or 40 pair and I just haven't felt like wearing them lately, and I do think it's because they are a little bit out of style right now. But what has replaced a lot of my large statement earrings are my smaller, daintier earrings, which are huggies that I have really gotten into the past couple of years, and small hoops and medium-sized hoops. And I have worn some larger hoops that are thin, and I just got this pair from Kendra Scott that is a nice medium-sized hoop that is a thin metal and there's three strips of metal and two of them are gold and the one in the middle is silver because you know the silver jewelry metallics silver metallics is becoming a big trend right now so i'm trying to add a little bit in at a time and i definitely wanted something that i could do that was a mixed metal and i thought that was a lot of fun but not only are your statement earrings a little bit out of style but so are your statement necklaces so i have been wearing more of the chain necklaces now somebody might say that this is chunky statement but in my mind it's really not it's a thin metal and it's actually really pretty i do have some other daintier jewelry like this j initial that i have on and i've got some daintier chains and i really like layering a lot of these necklaces and that is also a trend right now so you know it just depends on kind of what you are wearing and what kind of suits your lifestyle because really the smaller jewelry and the things that i'm wearing now just kind of fit into what i'm doing and i don't want to talk about jewelry too much today because i do have a jewelry trends video for summer coming and that should be in the next week or so so definitely hit that subscribe and the bell so you don't miss the notifications for that video so another style that i used to enjoy wearing that i don't really wear anymore are my really ripped up jeans I mean rips all over the front and I don't know why I don't love wearing those but I know that they are not that much on trend right now but they're still available you can still buy a lot of them but I just have not enjoyed them I would love to know if you feel the same way and I know some of you have just not loved really ripped up jeans anyway but it's something that I liked it was a more casual more edgy feel to them but now I'm just enjoying wearing some that maybe have one little hole or have just a little bit of fraying on the hems. And I just feel like they have a little bit of edge to them without being over the top, and that really works for me right now. So I've enjoyed those, and I do think the frayed hems are still on trend, although those might be going out of style a little bit too, because now I'm gonna talk about the next thing, which are the hems of your shorts. A lot of the shorts are very tailored and clean hems this year. I have not not seen a ton of ripped up shorts there are a few that you will always see but a lot of the shorts I've seen have either been pull-on prints or you know a lot of your tailored linen and a little bit longer than normal and just some different things and even the denim shorts I've seen are cargo styles or clean hem styles that have more of a utility look so those styles are what is in and that might be what you're buying and you might not have liked any of the ripped up stuff anyway so um, i did buy a pair of denim shorts to have a little bit of fraying which i do love the frayed helms i will always love the frayed helms but i think that the styles are going more towards those clean hems 
especially in your shorts for summer. So minimalistic style is also having an effect on luxury items because we're seeing a lot of quiet luxury trends out there. And this is just where designers are not not showing a lot of logos on their items. And I personally love this because I don't want to wear a bunch of logos. So instead of a Louis Vuitton bag with the Louis Vuitton logo all over it, you would find one that's just all leather and might have a buckle that represents them as opposed to just screaming at you that this is a Louis Vuitton. I personally love the quiet luxury movement and logos are not a thing that I love. So I'm glad they're going out of style. So this is another style that I have personally felt a little bit outdated in when I put it on and that's my denim jackets. So my classic denim jackets, my ripped up denim jackets, and the ones that are a little bit oversized and boyfriend styles. And I loved wearing these. Even last year, I still wore these, but this year I have moved more towards my cropped denim jacket. And this is definitely what is in style right now. Cropped blazers, <laughs> cropped jackets of any kind are really on trend. And it took me a minute to get into this trend, but I finally found a denim jacket that I love. And I just talked about this in my previous trends video. If you have not checked it out, I'll link it here. But I just think it goes with a lot of different things that are great for summer. It's gonna go with your shorts, skirts, over certain dresses and all kinds of things. So if you haven't tried one yet and you think you can wear one, I would definitely encourage you to add it to your wardrobe because I do think this style is going to be in for a little while. And if you're feeling outdated like I did in your other denim jackets, this might be worth a try. So this one makes me very sad to talk about because I have a lot of this in my wardrobe and it's a block heeled shoe. So those big block heels are going out of style if they're not out of style already and the heels are getting skinnier. Whether you do a kitten heel or a stiletto, the skinnier heels are really where it's at. And I guarantee you that you are going to see a lot of boots in the fall with skinny heels, not block heels. Maybe not all, but we're going to see more than we saw last year because there were a lot last year and I think we're going to see a lot more this year. Hopefully, hopefully I'm right. Usually I am, but this is where it's going because a lot of the sandals this season have had skinny heels on them or they have just been flats. So we will see, but definitely block heels are out and skinny heels are coming back. So sometimes it's funny to me how fashion works because cold shoulder tops, the ones that you get a you know, strap on the shoulder and then just the top of the shoulder is open and then you have either a little hangy piece or the rest of the sleeve. So they call it cold shoulder because it's just your shoulder exposed. That's out of style. But off the shoulder, just something that comes down off the shoulder is in style. And it's just funny to me how that works. Like, why are they both not in style? Because I've read about this and when I look around, I don't really see cold shoulder tops anymore. Although they used to be really popular. Now I see a lot of off the shoulder tops. And I love it when I can find off the shoulder tops that will also work to wear them on the shoulder. So you have a little bit of versatility there. So you're not buying one that's just for off the shoulder. And it just becomes a little bit more useful. But I do love the off the, off the shoulder look. You're going to see that in and tops and dresses and also that one shoulder so you're exposing one shoulder and covering the other with the sleeve which I don't love as much it's a little bit asymmetrical and unbalanced to me uh, so I'm not sure how I feel about that but I do love the off, off the shoulder look I think it's really pretty and uh, works really well on a lot of different people so this next one I wanted to mention because I have seen a lot of these in stores and I just really think that this style is very outdated and it's your really high-waisted skinny pants and the pants are all moving towards a little bit of a looser fit even if you do a skinny go for more of a slim skinny as opposed to that legging skinny with that really high waist and the waistlines are actually coming down too so out of style would be very ultra high waist. I'm talking like 12 inches, even on your denim. You're not seeing a lot of denim right now that's ultra high waisted. We're still seeing high waisted, but the ultra high is definitely going out of style if it's not out of style already. 
and your really skinny pants and jeans. So go for more of a slim skinny, or they call them slim straights. That's more of your modern skinny, or even a wide leg, because the wide leg jeans and trousers are huge right now. And if you have never tried a wide leg and just are not going to do that, then go for a straight leg or something slimmer, as opposed to those really, really high-waisted skinny pants. So since I was just talking about the ultra high waist, I had to mention the paper bag waist because I definitely think this is something that is a little bit out of style right now as well. And it's like cinching a paper bag. You have all that material that sticks up. I think that this is something that's not very versatile because you end up having to tuck your shirts in to really get the effect of the way that looks. And I've seen a lot of work pants that I think are nice that you could do and tuck in the shirt and then put a blazer over it. If that's something that you love, it's okay if you love it because it's still available, but I definitely don't think it is part of the things that are in style and on trend. The things that are in style and on trend are mid-rise, you might have a little bit of a higher rise and even low rise, and then belting your waist as opposed to having that paper bag waist or even just plain belt loops because belts are definitely on trend right now. So there are different ways that you can get the look of that without doing that paper bag waist. I really wanted to talk about this next one just because I thought it was a little bit entertaining and funny, but I read an article on Who, What, Where about trends and I love reading their articles. I think they're really good. And they were talking about how cutouts were now becoming negative space. And I just thought that was so interesting and it kind of made me giggle. And then I read the whole thing and looked at the pictures. But what it is, is instead of just having a little cutout, the negative space is actually creating a design in the garment that, you know, if you have cutouts all the way down, they actually do create a design that exposes the skin and sometimes it makes the garment look like it's layered with something else and it just kind of tricks the eye a little bit like it was kind of an interesting concept so i wanted to mention it but i know this isn't a trend that a lot of us would probably wear but i did want to talk about it because it was very interesting to me and cutouts that means cutouts are just getting more and more part of fashion instead of going away they're just amping them up a bit and I just thought it was a little bit of fun although I don't think it's anything that I would ever wear that wasn't so bad was it I hope you took this very lightly these are just my opinion and things some of these things I did personally feel like were out of style for me because I really think that style is very personal and even though there are trends out there and things that are out of style if there are things that you absolutely love to wear continue to wear them the key is you have to feel really good in them so if you love this video please give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing and love your neighbor be kind and i'll talk to you next time